It's a real milestone in the New Horizons mission, the very first images of Pluto in the Pluto encounter year. I don't make predictions, except for one. My best guess is we're going to find something wonderful. Hold on to your seats, folks, because the world of astronomy is abuzz with news of a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Telescope. It seems that the telescope has captured something so unusual on its recent mission that it could very well be the evidence we've been seeking for the existence of extraterrestrial life. What did the telescope find? The mysterious movement happening on Pluto's surface has raised eyebrows and ignited curiosity among scientists and astronomers alike. Are we about to uncover the biggest secret of the universe? Join us as we delve into the details of the massive structure that was detected on the surface of Pluto and what it could mean for the existence of extraterrestrial life. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, is a fascinating and enigmatic celestial body. It is a frigid world of ice, rock and methane with a unique orbit that takes it far beyond the outer planets and back again. Despite its small size, Pluto has a number of interesting features, including its heart-shaped surface feature, which was first captured in stunning detail by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft in 2015. And in a recent space mission, the James Webb Telescope joined forces with the New Horizons probe to uncover the mysteries of Pluto's surface. One image in particular caught the attention of scientists, revealing a strange object appearing to glide across the icy terrain. Despite efforts to dismiss the discovery, the image has sparked the curiosity of alien enthusiasts and ufologists worldwide, eager to learn more about this otherworldly structure. The image, transmitted by the Long Range Reconnaissance Imager, has extended the highest resolution views of Pluto to the centre of the Sputnik Planum, an icy plain that forms the left part of Pluto's heart feature. The complex terrain, divided into cells and polygons, has puzzled scientists for years, with some theorising that it's the result of thermal convection of nitrogen ices. Deep in Pluto's icy reservoir, which could be several kilometres or miles deep in some areas, solid nitrogen is heated by the planet's moderate internal heat, causing it to become buoyant and develop into grey blobs that move slowly across the surface before cooling off and sinking again to repeat the process. William McKinnon, deputy lead of the New Horizons Geology, Geophysics and Imaging team from Washington University, described this phenomenon as similar to a giant lava lamp. The James Webb Telescope team's computer models revealed that these overturning solid nitrogen blobs can integrate and change over millions of years. The mosaic of images taken by the telescope included the Viking Terra area, a part of Pluto's surface shown from a distance of nearly 49,000 kilometres, revealing features as small as 480 kilometres across. The mosaic also depicted the X feature, which could be one of the areas where cooled nitrogen ice goes back down and gets pinched off and abandoned, as it's a previous quadruple junction where four convection cells meet. There were also multiple active triple junctions visible in the images. As researchers sifted through the pictures captured by the JWST, they stumbled upon yet another intriguing discovery that piqued their interest. They came across the breathtaking sight of bright methane ice that had gathered on numerous crater edges. These craters were filled with a dark red substance called tholins, which are minuscule soot-like particles formed by chemical reactions involving nitrogen and methane in the lower atmosphere. These tholins are commonly found on the floors of craters, walls and on the rugged faces of cliffs. However, scientists were baffled to find that in areas where the surface appears smooth and the red material is denser than usual, it's likely that the substance has flowed into some craters and channels. The question that still remains unanswered is how the Tholen deposits, which are typically immobile on large scales, were transported across Pluto's surface. And these images provided by the JWST have revealed a stunning new discovery – snakeskin-like patterns on Pluto's surface. The intricate and mesmerising patterns were captured in high-resolution images of the dwarf planet and showcased its incredible diversity in unprecedented detail. But that's not all the James Webb Telescope also captured the latest strange pits on Pluto's heart, leaving scientists with more questions than answers. 
In extraordinary detail, the colour images of the dwarf planet's badlands showed the scarcity of overlying impact craters in this area, leading researchers to believe that these strange craters may have formed through ice fracturing and evaporation. The alignment of these pits provided crucial insight into the flow of ice and nitrogen exchange with other volatile materials between Pluto's atmosphere and surface. All in all, these images have given scientists and researchers even more zeal to continue studying the mysteries of Pluto. The clearest image of Pluto's surface yet captured a vast landscape of strange aligned linear ridges near the boundary between light and dark regions. The image astonished the New Horizons team, who described it as a unique and perplexing landscape that resembles tree bark or dragon scales. According to William McKinnon, the pattern's cause is still unknown, but it could be a combination of internal tectonic forces and ice sublimation. The highest resolution colour view of Pluto was also captured by the spacecraft, revealing the extraordinarily rich colour palette of the dwarf planet. Despite its flyby nearly eight years ago, the New Horizons continues to yield scientific fruit, with the mission team making intriguing discoveries and sharing their latest findings at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference in Texas. And within the impressive list of discoveries unveiled at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference, three stood out as particularly noteworthy. First, a group of scientists has finally shed light on what caused Pluto's mysterious flip by studying the images captured by New Horizons. They believe that the formation of Sputnik Planitia, a massive basin filled with nitrogen ice, was the driving force behind the event. Second, researchers found peculiar and captivating landscapes on Pluto's surface that were both interesting and perplexing. Finally, scientists also revealed new insights into the building blocks that created Erekoth, a snowman-like object that was observed by both New Horizons and the James Webb Telescope. These findings and many others that are sure to come are a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the wonders of our universe. But with the help of images sent back by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, scientists have been able to trace the path of Pluto's flip and make some incredible discoveries. One of these discoveries is a global tectonic system made up of parallel mountain ranges and deep valleys that span over 300 kilometers wide and stretch from Pluto's North Pole. However, the fact that Pluto flipped in the past means that none of the terrain we see today is in its original location, leaving scientists puzzled. Oliver White, a New Horizons co-investigator, believes that these features likely existed on Pluto's equator early on and later migrated to their current locations near the poles due to the flip. Additionally, White's team found evidence that Pluto's subsurface ocean played a role in shifting a bulk of the dwarf planet's mass towards its equator, providing some push to Sputnik. Moreover, the remarkable data gathered by New Horizons and JWST is not just useful for studying Pluto's ancient landscapes. It also provides valuable insights into its more recent features. One of the spacecraft's earlier discoveries was the existence of massive methane deposits near Pluto's equator, some of which towered as high as Earth's skyscrapers. But now, thanks to a new line of evidence, scientists believe these distinctive knife-like landforms extend beyond the parts of Pluto observed by the James Webb Telescope and New Horizons during their flybys. This latest revelation adds to our growing knowledge of the complex processes that shape Pluto and other icy planets in our solar system, highlighting the dynamic and diverse nature of planetary surfaces. According to Ishan Mishra, a postdoctoral researcher at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, these structures on Pluto's surface are similar to penitentes, the water ice structures that can be found on Earth, but with a difference. On Earth, Penitentes stretch for only a few meters, whereas on Pluto, they primarily exist on the highest points on its surface and soar for hundreds of meters. The team used images captured by the Long Range Reconnaissance Imager on board New Horizons and studied the changes in light reflection from surfaces with different viewing angles. By doing so, they discovered similar methane absorption features on the far side of Pluto, which Mishra said were likely one of the most common landforms on the dwarf planet owing to the rougher than average surfaces. And New Horizons made history by exploring the farthest and most primitive object in the solar system, a small snowman-like object called Erekoth. 
It resides in the Kuiper Belt, 6.6 billion kilometers away from Earth, where the sun's cold reaches keep it in a deep freeze. But the real excitement came when scientists discovered that Erakoth's larger lobe, Wenu, was not formed as a single object, but rather by the fusion of 12 rocks. This finding is a vital piece of the puzzle of how planets like Erakoth and other Kuiper Belt objects are built. Millions of kilometre-sized icy objects formed the Kuiper Belt and Wenu was formed by the amalgamation of a few of them. However, the fact that these objects did not merge at high speeds explains why Wenu has its elongated shape and this knowledge opens up a new frontier for scientists to explore. The merging of rocks that formed Erakoth happened at a relatively slow speed of less than one metre per second, according to a team of researchers. The Lego-like appearance of the individual rocks, all similar in size, composition and colour, tells us important information about the formation of this distant snowman-shaped object. Erakoth is mainly composed of 12 5 km wide rocks, clustered around Wenu's equator, which makes up most of its body and extends to its far side. While previous missions like New Horizons have flown past such celestial objects, the James Webb Space Telescope's next mission aims to provide more detailed and prolonged observations of the Kuiper Belt's thousands of celestial bodies. With its sensitive infrared cameras, Webb will enable scientists to study the Kuiper Belt's diversity, including colour, shape, size and geological and atmospheric activity. The surface chemistry data collected by Webb will offer new insights into the origins of these objects, which have been around for billions of years and could last billions more. The study of objects known as centaurs could also provide more surprises. What do you think the James Webb Telescope will discover next? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.